All right, Clayton, thanks for your time. Just the four runners on Saturday, starting off in the first leg of the place accumulator with horse number seven, Kings County and Ryan Munger. Yes, Mr. Bond, uh, nice type of horse. He's, he's showing us some decent work, you know. Um, he's obviously at a disadvantage be, uh, being a two-year-old against older horses in open company, sort of. Um, but, you know, he's a type of horse that you, you, we, can't, we can't discount on Saturday. Like I said, he's showing us nice work. I think he'll, he can be included in all type of bets. You know? Lovely to hear. And then uh, on to the sixth race, where you've got horse number eight, Farik, with Craig Zaki aboard. Yes, um, Craig's obviously been doing a lot of work. He, he, he knows him quite well. He's a, he's also doing well at the moment, you know. He's sort of he's come well with it himself. So, I mean, I th I think he'll be competitive over, over that type of trip. He seems to enjoy the, the mile. He so. won his last start over 1600 meters, and then of course he was uh, used to ensure a good gallop in the horse chestnut. And then the 1400 may just have been a tad sharp for him. Yeah, I do agree with you. you know, he's, he's obviously quite effective over the mile. Um, he, he actually won over, over the mile on the inside track he, he, the last time he won. So, like I said, he is well with, within himself and he's showing us very nice work. Um, I do expect him to be, to be in the shake-up. Then we go to El Hora, uh, very nice classic form. Um, I suppose the only big detractor here is, of course, the draw. Yes, that's, obvi that's the obvious concern with her. She, she does bring solid form into the race on Saturday. I mean, the trip's obviously ideal for her. She, she's got to overcome the draw. Obviously, with a bit, she need, she's going to need a lot of luck in running on Saturday. Um, but, I, I mean, she is doing very nicely. You know, very light frame type of filly, but she's got lots of guts and lots of heart. And uh, if she gets the right passage through, I, I, think she'll, I think she'll run a good race there. Fantastic. And then on to the eighth race, uh, number eight. Nikki is uh, the, once again the mount of Ryan Munger. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Nikki, obviously, um, I th I probably slightly a bit too, too far for her last time, the 1500. She drops back to 1200. She seems to enjoy the, the six furlongs, you know, she loves, a, she loves a little bit of a strong pace uh, up front. And she can, she, can, she can allow herself to relax and then kick on from there. But she'll obviously be, be very effective from that draw on Saturday. Uh, also, another filly doing very nicely. You know, I think, I think she's the type of filly that uh, should finish in the money there. Right, Adam, stable ticking along really nicely, and you start off in the first leg of the place accumulator with horse number 11, Vary Max and Carl Zechner. Hi, Andrew. Yeah, Vary Max, a first-timer, nice bar. He puts up some good work at home, but he is quite temperamental in the pens. Uh, we've done a lot of work with him, and he has settled down. Um, just hope that he's well-behaved on race day. Uh, going 1,400 first time, he may just be in need of the run, but um, to see him running into the money wouldn't surprise me because he shows good work at home. Super. Then from the first leg of the place accumulator to the first leg of the jackpot, horse number three is Solar Quest. Once again, Carl Zechner. Yeah, Solar Quest, she won um, her work riders over the 2-6 quite impressively, so it looked like she did definitely want the ground. Um, this is her first run out of the Maidens, which is always something you must have uh, respect for and keep into play. So uh, it'll be nice to see how she runs first run out of the Maidens, go over the trip again. Lovely. And then the uh, final runner on the card is in race number seven, horse number eight, is Shatush. Yeah, this is a very competitive field. Shatush, you know, she's an honest filly. She always is there or there about, um, but the field is very competitive. She was well beaten by Simply Royal last time out, but with a three and a half kilos turnaround in weight, you would think it would give her a bit more of a chance this time. But the bad draw is a big question mark, the way she likes to run. She sort, sort of needs to have it all go away. So it's a little bit of luck in running, and hopefully Lady Luck's looking over us on Saturday. And also, it's going to give us a chance to see what the classic form looks like. You've got some fillies who've participated in just about uh, two or three legs of the Triple Crown, and nice to see how they feature in handicaps. Yeah, it's always nice to see where those fillies start to play, and then you see how good your three-year-olds really are with the rest of the company they start to run against, and yeah, it'll be nice to see where they run.